What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. We got our hand on Samsung's S10 Plus and Huawei's P30 Pro. Had them both in house for a little while now and I wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison for you guys. Samsung obviously took a little different approach with the hole punch cutout instead of a notch. It is a version still whether they like it or not. However, the look and feel on this phone is phenomenal. It, had, it definitely has to be one of the best built Samsung Galaxy phones I've used yet. For them to be able to keep a headphone jack at the bottom, keep all the IP68 resistance, it's phenomenal. Huawei though knocked it out of the park again with these gradient color schemes. It just looks so good. Obviously that was their best sellers last year so they did three different gradient schemes this year. You do only have a single firing speaker unfortunately but you do get an IR blaster on top if you're into those kind of things. They both have fingerprint sensors. This is an optical sensor, as you can see. It works great. I have had no issues with this. I've actually had more issues with Samsung's ultrasonic one, which was a big surprise to me. Um, I really thought that it was built up to be a much better design for functionality as well as security, but you can see it does not work as smooth each time. Uh, personal preference, I know ultrasonic is a little more secure, However, I will take this optical sensor for now since we are a little further on in the process of using those. As far as the notches go, like I said, you can see the hole punch cutout and the teardrop design that we've seen well over a few years now. The Essential phone was definitely the first one to really like mainstream that teardrop notch. I like it. The display designs are pretty comparable here. You have a 6.4 inch on the S10 Plus and a 6.47 on the P30 Pro. Both look great. One is a dynamic AMOLED panel, the being Samsung's, and then just a full HD OLED panel on the right with the Mate 30 Pro. You do have Samsung Pay, you are getting that MST technology. You only have NFC on the P30 Pro. Just something to keep in mind if you guys use that a lot. Some people do, some people don't. The cameras are what the biggest feature are for these devices. They are phenomenal. You can't go wrong with either one. You can kind of see just how good they look with their different camera setups. That's your traditional. There's your wide angle lens. And then right there, your two times magnified view. Obviously, you are going to get a little different setup. On the p30 pro but we will talk about that in a second you can see just how much detail are in these photos it looks phenomenal guys aside from that like i said huawei kind of went a different route this year with their camera setup it's really gonna be hard to show you the periscope camera inside however you can see just the traditional lens your wide angle lens then you do have that 5x optical zoom. As you can see, it's not meant for close-up photography. And then obviously, you are going to get that 10x optical zoom, which is just ridiculous. And you do have that super creep mode where you can go up to 50x optical zoom. I have seen it degrade quality, it gets a little soft. However, how often are you really going to be using that? Both these screens look great. The cameras function phenomenally on it. I will be doing a side-by-side -side photo comparison between these devices for you guys. Let me know what you think. Do you prefer one of these cameras over the other? Do you like one of the designs better than the other? Is the time of flight camera that the P30 Pro has that significant of a difference or an advantage over the S10 Plus? Let us know in the comments down below, guys. Thanks for watching. We will catch you in the next one.